I'm testing the best TikTok, Minecraft hacks and tricks I could find that are so awesome they will definitely go viral. Watch until the end so you can be ahead of the trend. Alrighty, dude, why don't we do it out here at night? Take it down three. We've got some clothes doing some patterns, no turtle egg, and, and a, 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 a zombie? Huh? Wait, zombie, what are you doing? Did he just walk into the palace? No, did he just commit death? No way, zombies are that stupid. What? Okay, so we've got a trap over here with turtle eggs in the center, surrounded by powdered snow. No way, zombies are not that dumb, please. What? Yo, they're just all jumping into the snow. They're just like, yes, I will submit to my death. What is this? That is a 100% effective trap. That is an effective way to defend your base. I can't believe this has gone viral. So let's chuck down a turtle leg. We're just gonna try here with one, guys, and see if that works. In the video, they actually dug down three blocks, placed down glowstone, and then two blocks of powdered snow. I'm pretty sure it's just to make the powdered snow glow at night so you can see where it is so you don't accidentally fall in. But I do want to know, will it work without that glowstone? Will the zombies still fall into the powdered snow? So let's give it a go here, guys. And they basically just dug out a square. I'm assuming you can make this as big or as small as you wanted this, even managing to protect your entire base. So let's go ahead, fill up that space, bang! And in theory, all the zombies should go into that powdered snow. And then as you guys can see, even in survival, even in creative view, you start to get hypothermia and you will take damage. All right, moment of truth, guys. In come the zombies! Bah, 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 bah. All right, the zombies are heading towards the turtle leg. And you've got to be kidding me! It actually works! You just see all their little zombie heads sticking out of here. And, well, yeah, they are not surviving. Honestly, it's a pretty cool way to defend your house. What are we building here? We got some iron bars digging down, chucking an end rod on the bottom, then an armor stem? What is that for? Putting on netherite armor here. Push him in. Yo, that's dope! All right, let's give this a go. We're going to chuck down one or two iron bars. Then we need to dig down one block, break out this bottom block, and then place an end rod underneath that iron bar facing downward. And in the video, this looked like the sword that the armor stand was holding. It's honestly pretty realistic as like a sword stuck in the ground. Then we needed an armor stand here, and they changed the position. So we're going to go ahead and crouch, and we need to click on this armor stand one two three four five we're about to see if this works guys then we're gonna chuck on a head and you can put on any armor you like diamond gold iron it ain't matter but of course we're going to go with that beefy old netherite because it makes us look absolutely ripped here guys completely rich and then we're gonna chuck down one piston facing towards that armor stand and activate it using either a lever or a block of redstone boom yo that is so cool! Oh my goodness, it actually works. It looks just like Steve who is holding a sword. Why isn't this viral yet? Uh, what exactly is so special about chains? I mean, it is pretty cool. We can now place them sideways, but that was added in an update ages ago. It's nothing new, and I don't think this deserves to go viral. Oh, we got a command block. What do we put in here, guys? Yo, what is that giant command? And we're putting repeat always active. I think that's what that language is. I can only speak English here, guys. All right, we're coming up to the chains in. Whoa, how is he doing that? It looks like he's actually like balancing on the chains, you know, because it's like a single tightrope. That is awesome! He looks so epic! So first we're going to need a command block. If you don't know how to get one, you need to open up your chat and type in slash and then give a space A with the squiggle around the at symbol, P and then command underscore block and hit enter. Now once you've got one of those, we're going to place this down and you want to come to the side here where it says block type, put that on repeat and then redstone always active. Now the command they used was absolutely ginormous and I've got it saved in this command block here. As you can see, huge! If you want to copy this into well, just take a screen screenshot now but basically what it's doing is it's an execute on all players and it's got tilde 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 detect and then if it, you've got a chain underneath you it's going to play the animation of the evoker casting which looks just like you're balancing on a chain now at the moment this command block will work for everyone in the world if you want it to work for just you so you can show off your friends all you need to do is change the at s to your username so in my case mine would be ey stream like so and then you want to come back to the at a here and also change this to ey stream Otherwise, guys, if you want this to work for everyone in your world, then you can just use the original command block like so. But let's give this a test, guys, and see if this works. All right, here we go. Yeah, that is so cool. I actually look like I'm about to fall into the ravine. Like, I'm, oh, oh, I'm going to fall into the ravine. Oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, I'd get onto this tread before it goes viral because that is so cool. Am I the only one knowing this? I don't know. Knowing what? Let's find out. Bedrock, an air portal frame, an eye of and a piston. Excuse me, what? That ain't gonna do nothing. The eye event has to be placed in the frame. 
No! What is that? Let's give this a go. Basically, we need some bedrock here on the left. I don't know how you're supposed to get this in survival, but I suppose you could build this at the bottom layer or in the nether using the bedrock at the top layer here. Then we've got to have an ender portal frame and then an eye of ender directly on the right of it. Then we need a piston facing towards that eye of ender. We're just going to bring the redstone back here, guys, and we need a lever like so. All right, moment of truth. Let's give this a go. Three, two, one, bam! Where is my magical end portal block with a purple beacon going through it? Excuse me, moi! Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I think we just got clickbait. Are we just got clickbait? Guys, I want revenge. We are exposing this clickbaiter. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the command block. That's exactly right, guys. They used a command block to spawn in that magical block. Basically, underneath this lever here, guys, they would have had this hidden command block. So when you hit the lever, it's going to activate that command block as well. And in here, we've got set block and then the coordinate locations of this end portal frame here, guys. And it's going to spawn in this block called an end gateway. Now, if we go ahead and put our eye of ender just there, hit the lever, bam! You guys can see we got this magical block with this purple beacon flying through it. And this block here is called the end gateway. It's basically what you use when you're trying to get from the end to the end of city. But unfortunately, you ain't gonna get that thing in survival, guys. But at least we exposed this clickbaiter, guys. Subscribe if you ain't clickbait just like me. No wonder this hasn't gone viral. It's just a giant square of copper blocks. And now we're waxing a bunch of the copper with honeycomb. Dude, dude, mate. If you're gonna wax it, at least wax it in line so you're not only waxing half of the copper blocks and you just don't have random green copper appearing out of nowhere. You're literally just clicking red Random block. Okay, you know what? Maybe this isn't supposed to go viral. Wait, what? Wait, we're just wait. Is this a time lapse? It's waxing itself. Wait, what? <laughs> no way! Those are some sus copper blocks. So let's go ahead and summon in a bunch of copper blocks. And basically, whichever ones you want to stay this beautiful copper orange, you wax with the honeycomb, and the rest of it you leave to turn into the green copper. And that way you're essentially drawing onto your copper blocks. It's like an invisible image, and you just have to wait and see how it turns out. All right, guys, I'm going to draw something. You're going to guess what it is, all right? One, two, three, four, five. All right. If any of you guys can guess what it is before I finish it, let me know in the comments down below. All right, there we go. This is actually really tricky. You're going to have tons of fun with this, guys, with your friends and everything. You know, people have to guess, like, what you're drawing. Honestly, guys, there is tons of potential here, guys. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with what I've drawn. And now what we're going to do is just wait. Bro, I stopped this up so badly. Okay, come on. Come me some slack. It was my first time. This was supposed to say sub, but the S and the U kind of got connected. Let's just not talk about that. We'll just, we'll just do a little bit of fixing up here, guys. Bang, bang. Boom! Now it says sub, which is exactly what you guys should do. Probably not for my drawing skills. Definitely should subscribe for the content. When you start trying to work your way through the village or trading market, okay. then you definitely <laughs> gotta be looking out for this. Look it up. Because what? sure, it's definitely cool to re-roll your villager constantly to try and get the best one. Okay. But if you don't convert the villager to a zombie and then change it back right what? after, then you're just wasting some good trades. What? If you're not looking what? to get the hero of the village effect sure, all the time, this is discounts? definitely a way to save a couple of your emeralds That's on your next awesome. book. First off, the easiest way to do this is to build out a five long fence and then go up two blocks to make a five by three enclosure. Then we're going to build up two more fences here, guys, and place three oak slabs across the top to stop our zombies from burning because, uh, you know, there's some sun there. You don't need to do this if you're underground or it is at nighttime. Then we're going to place an oak fence gate into center to separate our village and our zombie. And we're also going to need to choose a workstation, which is the kind of trades you want your village to make. We're going to put a lectern here on the side. But if you want them to uh, trade potions, you would use a brewing stand. Or if you want them to trade meat, you would use a smoker, for example. Just any workstation will do. And then you want to cover this up with fences as well so they can't stand on that lectern and escape. All right, now we're going to go ahead, chuck our villager on the left. As you can see, he turns straight into our librarian. And we're going to go ahead and do our librarian trades with him. And we're going to put our zombie on the right. Now, here is the catch. If you are on easy difficulty or normal difficulty, there is a small chance that your villager will not turn into a zombie villager. If you want a 100% chance every single time, what you got to do is come to options and change your difficulty to hard. This is the same on Java and Bedrock Edition. Once that's done, guys, we're going to go ahead, open up that fence gate and allow your zombie to kill your villager like so. H how did he make a baby with the, with the zombie? Okay, that is messed up. We're not going to talk about that now they're trying to kill us, Chuck.
child here. But once that is done, guys, and your villager has clearly turned into a zombie villager, you can get rid of the existing zombie if you want. I mean, you can keep him around, but I find it easiest to just go ahead and get rid of him. So let's say goodbye to him. Excuse me, can, can we go play... Can you two stop hanging out? I need to get rid of you. Perfect. All right, we got you. And now that we've got our zombie villager, what you want to do is grab it, your splash potion of weakness. Chuck this on to your zombie villager like so. You should see the particle effects. And then you need to feed him a golden apple. And as you guys can see, this red particle will start appearing around your zombie villager. And he'll start shaking out control. He'll be like, Bleh. Now what you have to do is wait. And he's going to turn back into a normal villager very soon. And Boom! Five minutes later, our zombie villager is cured. And now we go ahead and try and trade with him. You can see we've got discounts here from 24 paper to 18. And from 47 emeralds to just 22. That is a deal and a half, guys. You can see the trades are just insane. And you can actually do this multiple times to get better and better trades. Honestly, I don't know why everybody doesn't do this, guys. I suppose it's going viral after this video. There's a secret room in the jungle temple? What? How have I never heard of this? I knew there was a secret chest, but not a secret room. Okay, we're hitting all the levers on, then hitting the last two off, on, off again. Okay, so maybe that was some sort of passcode. Now we're heading out to the back here, guys. And then we got our chest. That's pretty standard. And why is he looking at the ground? Wait, what? There's a room down there. I've never thought to dig under there. Yo, what? I have literally never seen this. How is this not going viral yet, guys? And inside the chest, that is some loot. All right, I'm in a jungle and ready for my loot. Do you guys see any jungle temples around? Aha! Located, I'm coming in for my diamonds and my gold. So let's grab ourselves a torch and head down into the depths of the jungle temple. They went one, two, three, put these two back, and then activated that twice. All right, now that we've done the exact same code as them, we're going to head down here. They opened up the chest, and then they dug it down here. Excuse me, where is my secret room? Okay, wait, let's switch it to spectator mode. There is literally no secret room here whatsoever. Guys, I think we just got clickbaited. There is a secret chest hidden behind these levers here, as you guys can see just here. But that is nothing compared to the loot that we saw in that secret room. Bro okay, no, we're not letting get, get away with this, guys. We are exposing this clickbaiter. I mean, I think it's pretty clear what they did. They basically just went ahead and built this secret room by themselves in creative, filling up the chest with all tons of awesome loot. Then they had a ladder go up and they covered it up with stone. So that when they dug it up in the video, it looked like there was a secret base underneath here. But all along, they, they literally just built it in creative. It doesn't actually exist, guys. Anyway, for our next to viral TikTok. That's actually all the time we've got for today, so you're gonna have to watch that next video. I'll see you there, but until then, anyway, stream out. Bye!